And we're back, Human Nuggets here with some more Modern Warfare 2 content for you today. We've got the Cronin Squall finished out to its 1000 kills, so we can go ahead and chuck the charm on for that one. Now the loadout is a very aggressive build. It does have slightly lowered mobility, but we've really got uh, that handling and recoil control going on. So we've got the X10 Grip tuned in sprint to fire and ADS speed. The FSS OV laser tuned in ADS speed and sprint to fire speed. The HR 6.8 barrel tuned in ADS and recoil steadiness. The bore 490 muzzle attachment tuned in recoil control and recoil stabilization. And lastly to render out the 50 round mag so we can take on multiple people or well, longer engagements without needing to reload in the middle of them usually. Now I had a lot of fun with this gun. Uh, definitely one of the more enjoyable guns in the game. Um, you know, it with the build I've got, it hits uh, usually for a kill of. Oh, they were on the ground. I saw the fucking blue dot of the teammate, but it was up the top. Um, yeah, it's it's usually a three-hit kill. But if you get limb shots, it can be a four hit kill, which even still, it's got a decently fast fire rate. So you can really take on a lot of people with that. Fuck off. And yes, I am going to keep Ego challenging him, even though he's camping there. Uh, but yeah, like, I, I got this gun done really quickly. Um, and yeah, I'm really struggling to think of things to say about it, but it's uh, a lot of fun. So it, uh, it, I personally like the uh, side picture it has. It gives you like a nice precision point to tell where people are moving with the little extra little side struts while it still leaves the entire top open so you have like good visibility. It's not too busy really, which makes it very nice. And then, yeah, even though we do have that slowed down mobility, just based on the, uh, Where the fuck was he? Based on the other stats we have with it, with the uh, recoil control and ADS speed and everything, I'm really struggling to talk today. Um, but yeah, it's it's an aggressive build, even though it is a bit on the slower side. You just have to, you know, treat it like it's a bit on the slower side. You also don't need to worry about too much about going for headshots with this gun. Be like, you can, just out of habit, but realistically... At least in the firing range... Where the f fuck off? Can I get a better- why the fuck are we spawn trapped here? Oh, what the fuck? Why are the spawns in this game so fucking shit? It is also pretty decent at taking down kill streaks. Um, like I don't have any of the alternate ammo's on it, as you saw when I showed the build, and it still just absolutely chews through kill streaks. Um, so that's like not really a reason to choose this gun when there's you know things specifically designed for taking down kill streaks, but it's certainly a nice addition to have. You can see, uh, well, I got taken out by the VTOL, but getting roof there, it's pretty easy to go. That 50 round mag really pays you well, because while it does only take a couple of rounds, it, to begin with, it has really bad recoil, at least, well, 
it's not atrocious, but it's very noticeable. That's why we have the uh, muzzle on there. So with sustained fire while... Okay, he... They don't have an advanced. They might have a UAV, but I should have ghost by now. So I'm a bit suspicious of that guy. I thought he was just smurfing, but... Just absolutely melts people when you can focus. <laughs> um. Enemy so yeah, definitely worth a check out. Um, it doesn't have, like, I don't really have a weakness to say about it. It's kind of just a good gun. <laughs> Um, but I think that might be where we'll leave it today. I know I haven't said much about it, um... I've really just been struggling to think, but... Fucking... Check it out. Whether you use my build or not, this is one of them ones that I'm gonna say definitely check out. Um... So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next one.